Fantastic that you're here. Um, we have spoken about some important language eh, involving algebra. We have spoken about simplifying expressions, which is really important. And now it's time to start to talk about expanding, uh, and that involves brackets. Yeah, and I'm sure you know what brackets are. Yeah, so we have a pair of brackets over here. And let's say inside I have the expression, uh, what shall we do? 2x plus 3. Okay, and then there will be a letter, or yeah, could be a letter, but uh, let's start with a number directly in front of it. Let's do the number four, like this. Four, opening bracket, two x plus three, uh, two x plus three, closing bracket. And then we have to expand it. Now, what does that mean? This basically means between the four and the brackets, there is a times sign, okay? But as mathematicians, we are quite lazy, so if we can avoid writing down the time sign, we will. So we just do four bracket, two x plus three bracket. But it does mean times, yeah? And what times? Well, I have to do four times all the terms inside of my brackets. So I have to do four times two x, and four times two x is eight x, and, and don't forget that one, I have to do four times a positive three. And four times a positive three is a positive 12. So now I have expanded uh, those brackets, eh? expanding, basically making it bigger, if you like, yeah? So you do four times all the terms inside your bracket. Okay, so I have three example questions here for us to try now. Five bracket two x plus four, uh, for instance, and we realize that um, that means times, okay? So I have to do five times two x, and that is 10 x. And then some students write down plus four, yeah? Because they're so excited, but you should really calm down because you have to do five times all of the terms inside those brackets. So five times four plus 20, good. Next question, two opening bracket, three y minus four, two times three y is six y. Let me get rid of those, those caps. Okay, that's a lot easier. That is uh, six y and also two times minus four, which is gonna be minus eight. There we go, I have expanded it. Last one, minus four times three a. So careful with those negatives, huh? Or careful, yeah, just make sure you don't make any silly mistakes. Uh, take care in all your work, in everything you do in life anyway. Minus four times three A, minus 12 A, and minus four times minus two, and don't forget to multiply that second term as well. Minus four times minus two, that yeah, is going to be, what do you think? Indeed, a positive eight, yeah, fantastic. We have expanded. Let me give you one more example. Let's say we have three, and I have uh, X, plus uh, 2y plus 5. Okay, so now I have three terms inside of my brackets. What do you reckon? Three times x will be 3x, and three times 2y is 6y. And what do you think happens now? Indeed, we also have to multiply now the third term by three, so plus 15. Okay, hopefully that was useful. Like and share the video if it was, and find me on my site explaining maths for more resources. And you can ask me your question. Now go to the next video because I have something new involving expanding brackets. I'll see you there.